Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to Book and Bujo. And how is it time already for the mid-year freakout tag? So it's June and it's time. So, so let's see my thoughts on some of the books I've read so far according to the questions and what else I want to be reading for the rest of the year. So I wasn't able to find who the original creator was for the freakout tag, mid-year freakout tag. So if you know, please let me know down in the comments so I can give them credit. So let's jump on in with question number one. Best book you've read so far this year. So somewhat cheating, I guess, because it's actually a reread, but that would be The Sword of Kaigen by... ML Wang. I love this book. I love this book. So, yeah. But it's a reread. So, to be fair, I did read this this year. I read it in January, but I, I have read it before, so I already knew I liked it. But, so, yes, The Sword of Kaigen. But, so, um, the best book I've read so far this year as a first time read, and that is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. So question number two is the best sequel that you've read so far, and that would be Of Darkness and Light by Ryan Cahill, and this is the second book in the Bound and the Broken series. It is amazing. If you have not read the series, what are you waiting for? It's so good. Okay, question number three. A new release you haven't read yet, but you want to. And that one would be Wayward by Amelia Hart. And this is on my TBR for this year or for this month. So I'm very excited to get to that one. To get this in time from my library, I did end up having to get like the, the large print version. So the print is very large, but that also means there's a lot of pages in this book, I think. It's like 537 pages. Uh, I don't think the normal print book is quite that long, but yes, yeah, very excited to get to read that one. And then the other one that I'm excited to read is A Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. That one just is getting a lot of love on uh, booktube and every place else. And uh, it sounds interesting, I wanna try. So question number four is your most anticipated release for the second half of the year, and that is absolutely Lightbringer by Pierce Brown. I probably won't read it this year because I want to reread the whole series before I get to it, so I may save that for 2024, but we'll see. I may, I, I, I probably won't be able to wait. I'll probably just read it and then just do a reread of the entire series later. But yes, Lightbringer by Pierce Brown. All right, so my biggest disappointment so far in 2023 of the books that I read was Everflame by Dil Dylan Lee Peters. So actually going into this book, I didn't really have uh, super high expectations because I didn't really know anything about it. But by the time I finished it, I just, I felt like the concept was really good and I just couldn't, I just, I don't know. I just didn't like it. I, I was so disappointed. I just felt like it was lacking in execution. Like there was something it was missing, which is weird because the, the premise of the book is great, but that doesn't mean you won't like it. So pick it up, give it a try, see what you think. Great. Question number six, biggest surprise, and that would be Convenience Store Woman by Sayaka Murata. So uh, I, this is another one I didn't know anything about. Um, I needed a contemporary book for a readathon, and this one was super short. It was like three-ish hours, maybe just under four hours on uh, the audiobook from Hoopla. And so I was like, ah, I'll give it a try. It sounds interesting. A lady who works at a convenience store might be kind of fun. Yeah. But oh my gosh, I love this book. I gave it five stars. I, I'm i still thinking about this book. I don't know why I liked it. I think it was just so ordinary and every day and everything else I read is so fantastical and magical and everything that this, it just, I don't know. It was great. I loved it. I have a pretty dry sense of humor and I feel like this book was a little more on the dry side. Um, just like 
tell it like it is, like you say what you mean. I don't know. It was just so much fun. I loved it. Check it out. All right, question number seven is a new author debut or new to you. And for that, so my favorite new author would be ML Spencer. And I read The Dragon Mage. And oh my gosh, that was a good book. That's another five star read for me for this year. It was just so good. It was so engaging and intriguing and so interesting. The pacing was just right throughout the book. Yeah, loved it. So question number eight, newest fictional crush. And I don't really crush for characters and books too much, um, but I did choose Thane from Bow Before the Elf Queen by J.M. Carroll. Question number nine, your newest favorite character. And that would be Kaladin from the Way of Kings or the Stormlight Archives series by Brandon Sanderson. All right, question number 10, book that made you cry. So I don't really cry at books too much. Um, sometimes you get that little, one little tear that might come down, except for two books, both of which I think I read in 2021. So I don't really have any that made me cry this year, but the one that had me sobbing was You, Me, and the Colors of Life by Noah C. Walker. So good major trigger warnings just to make you sob um so there is illness in here but it is such a good book so oh it's just get you in the feels so good uh the other one and for pretty much the same reasons is the secret to hummingbird cake and that is by celeste fletcher McHale. and again illness but the friendship and everything in there oh so good so good yeah and i love hummingbirds and hummingbird cake i don't really think i've actually ever eaten hummingbird cake it's basically cake with pineapple but yeah both very good books question number 11 book that made you happy so i also took this as books that made you laugh so a book that made me happy where it was kind of like all in the feels it was just heartwarming and sweet brought a smile to my face and that was the boy the mole the fox and the horse by charlie mackesy and another one that would be similar reasons that just brought joy is the psalm for the wild built by becky chambers but the one that made me laugh out loud because it was totally cheesy but funny and that was accidentally married and I can't recall the author off the, off the top of my head, but I'll have the picture up here for you. And then number 12, the most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received. And so I have two and I wasn't sure. They're both beautiful, but for different reasons. So more simplistic beauty. Uh, I'm going to go with Fate Marked by David Estes because for one, I am a sucker for all things silver. I love silver. And it's got the beautiful F here for Fate Marked. Uh, it also has this really awesome sword and just oh, the epitome of a great fantasy novel. So Fate Marked by David Estes. And then the other one is of Blood and Fire by Ryan Cahill. And of course, you can see my unboxing video for this one. Actually, for both of them, I will leave them both linked up in the cards above and in the description box below. But this book is also beautiful. It's got the beautiful sprayed edges. Oh, just look at that shine. Hopefully that's not too blinding. But yeah, these are my two beautiful books that I've gotten. I do have a couple other Kickstarters that I'm waiting on. One of them is The Sword of Kaigen. Uh, and I can't wait to get those in because I've seen the covers on those too. And they're so pretty. So I can't wait. All right, last question, number 13. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? So, for the end of the year, I did create a 23 in 2023 list, and I am not doing so good on that. Well, I mean, I not too bad, actually. Not too bad. I have read five of the 23. So, yeah, no, not, not that great. 
I was thinking if it was 12, then I'd be almost on track as long as I read one this month. But yeah, no, it's, it's 23. So I have to read almost two books a month. And yeah, I've only gotten through five. So not so great. So I do still need to read Of Dawn and Embers, which I was supposed to read last month and didn't get to it. Vicious by V.E. Schwab. Restless Slumber, Slumber by K.J. Sutton. That's the second book in the series. Uh, A Winter's Promise by Christelle, Christelle Dabos. Uh, Trader's Blade and Spellslinger by Sebastian de Castell. I did read, read Quiet Already by Susan Cain. Um, Lore by Alexandra Bracken. Middle Game by Shauna McGuire. I definitely want to get to that one. The Sleeper and the Spindle by Naomi Novik. Hood the Lieutenant by Nicole Adrian. The Savage Song, also V.E. Schwab. Uh, the, the Atlas Paradox, if you can see that. The Atlas Paradox by Olive Blake. I read The Atlas Six already and I loved it, so I do need to get to The Atlas Paradox. The Girl in the Tower by Catherine Arden. That's the second book in the Winter Night Trilogy, and I love the first one, The Bear and the Nightingale, so I really want to read this one. I did read Prelude to Ashes by Tiago Abdallah already. A Natural History of Dragons by Marie Brennan. I really, really want to get to that one, and I want to read that whole series. It just looks so good, and I love dragons. So I also read Of Darkness of Light by Brian K. Cahill and Witches by Edna Walters. I also read Quiet Thunder by J.P. J. P. Harker. Those are all in here, and those are done. And I've got four left. So Empire of the Vampire by J. Kristoff. Gods and Monsters by Shelby Murin. Um, um, that's the third and final book in the Serpent and Dove series, so I do want to finish that one off. And then uh, uh, Black Flame, which is the third book by Will White in the Cradle series, so I've read the first two already. And then the last one is Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert, and I that is hopefully on my list for this month for one of the readathons, but not sure. I, I, I really don't think I'll end up getting to that yet. We'll see. Things are slow going with my reading this month, so we'll, we'll see what happens. I've had way too much going on every weekend, been busy every weekend, and the next two weekends aren't looking any better, so I don't have near as much reading time as I typically do, so we'll see. So that's a little bit of a freak out um, by seeing how many books I <laughs> haven't gotten to yet that I wanted to. But then again, you know, these are goals, not set in stone, so as things change, you can reevaluate your goals and change them as needed, so. We'll see, we may just do a 13 in 2023 instead of 23 in 2023. Doesn't have quite the same ring, but better for my anxiety levels. So consider yourself tagged if you would like to do this mid-year freakout tag. And I really look forward to seeing your answers. So make sure you let me know in the comments if you're gonna do this tag. And then be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that not notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. And until next time, Bye!